Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about uh, CMAs, which stands for Comparative Market Analysis. And those are really just fancy words for uh, how much is my home actually worth? Um, you've heard a lot probably about maybe uh, AVM or a Zestimate if you're on Zillow a lot, which it seems I think 90% or so of the market is currently on Zillow and it's a great website. Uh, Zillow has done uh, an amazing job really capturing the public uh, because of their interface and just making it easy to use. And maybe uh, MLSs around the country will take note of that and make their uh, systems a little bit more user friendly. But for now, Zillow is king and uh, they have what they call the Zestimate. So what happens is if you go to Zillow.com, you type in uh, your address, uh, of your home, you're going to get what's called the Zestimate. The Zestimate is basically what's known as an AVM, and that stands for an Automated Valuation Model of your home. Uh, honestly, Zestimates and AVMs aren't bad. Uh, you know, they're a good starting point, I like to tell people, for where, uh, you know, you can just go and really get a, a general idea of how much your house is worth. Um, that being said, it's a good starting point, it is definitely not a good ending point. Uh, you really want to get a CMA, a Comparative Market Analysis, on your property. Uh, so here's just a few. Um, I'm not going to list them all because I could make this video really long. I'm trying to make these videos short and to the point. But just a few points on what a, a good CMA does. Um, first of all, a CMA needs to be accurate. And to be accurate, you really uh, don't want you don't want an opinion. You don't want feelings. You really just want to go off of data that's readily available. Uh, you want to go off of numbers and facts. Uh, that way, you know, opinion and all of that uh, is checked at the door, and you know that you're really just getting, uh, you know, a, a model that's uh, accurate to the value of your home. I know that you know this is the house you might have, you know, raised your kids in, or you know that oak tree might be beautiful. Uh, or whatever, but you know, it's really about how does the public uh, and how, more importantly, does the market view the value of your house? Uh, first thing I'll say is no two properties are the same. Uh, you cannot look at one house and say, well, if this house is worth this much, this house surely has to be worth uh, the same amount. Uh, no two houses are the same. Uh, the reason is you've got a lot of differences between houses. Um, the first are the basics, you want to go with your beds bathrooms, uh, your square footage, uh, and even the year built, you know. So um, those are some of the foundational factors of creating a good CMA. It's bed, bath, square foot, and year built. Um, the next thing you want to really think about is uh, the radius. You know, whenever I'm doing a CMA, I'm not just taking into account the bed, bath, and square foot. I'm also taking into account that community. Uh, you know, you really want it to be close uh, to where your 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 subject property is. So um, this can mean even if, like for example, if you have a house in a neighborhood, and then maybe there's a house in another neighborhood down the street that's the exact same uh, square footage, bed baths, and everything. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's going to be the same value because uh, different communities uh, are in different you know. Uh, different st they're going to be in different uh, categories. Uh, one community might be better than the next. It might have more amenities inside of it. Uh, it might be built newer. It could have uh, you know an advantage that the other community doesn't. So um, so radius and location and community are very important when you're doing an accurate CMA. Uh, and a good CMA is going to have data, sales data on uh, those properties that you identify or like it. Uh, but it's got to be recent. So I'm, whenever I do a CMA, I want to make sure that the, uh, the properties that I'm finding, in other words, the properties that are similar to this one, are not only similar to it, but that they also were sold you know, within at least six months. Um, I really want to see what is sold, what is already closed, uh, what, is, what have other people paid for these uh, similar properties, and what is closed in the last six months. It's really important. Um, you know, if you start getting higher than that, eight months, a year, well, markets change. And um, even six months is, you know, really tops for what you want to consider in a, a CMA model. But um, 
the next thing I'll say is details, 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 details. It's more than just, like I said, those foundational things like bed, bath, and square foot, and you're built. Uh, what is, uh, is there a busy road uh, on, this, on this property compared to another one? Uh, does it back up to a nice preserve or does it back up to, you know, someone else's backyard? Um, is there a good proximity to the beach, to schools, to shopping, to parks? Is it waterfront? Um, is there a pool? Uh, is there a screen-in porch or a lanai? Um, there's just, you know, the list goes on and on, but um, you, you can't get that from a Zestimate or a uh, just an automated valuation model. Um, it's a good starting point, but all of these things have to be considered. Uh, and then finally, the condition of the home. Um, we talked about all of those amenities, you know, like a pool or this or that, uh, but condition is very important too. You could have two almost identical houses side by side, but one just had a new AC put on or a new roof put on, and those are two really big ones as your roofing and your air conditioning. You know, one might have updated plumbing or, or electrical, you know, and the other one might have an electric box that's uninsurable. And that's going to have to that's going to have to get addressed uh, when the next person buys that house if they want to have homeowners insurance. So, so just these are just some over overall you know things that you want to think about when you're working with your realtor and uh, he or she is is creating a CMA for you. But um, anyway, guys, I hope that helps kind of describe uh, what a CMA is and why it's important and. Um, and uh, take some time and uh, ask your realtor for a accurate CMA uh, on your house. And uh, like I said, I'm not here to bash Zillow or the Zestimate, but I'm here to tell you that that's just the starting point, and that is not a a uh, current or accurate uh, you know value on your home. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.